Hello 2021. For this new year, I wanted to set myself up with a more functional desk, especially now that I'm working from home or remotely for probably a while. Typically, I have my work laptop and a personal laptop just scattered on my desk, but once you mix in my planner, notebooks, and iPad, things can get a little cluttered and unproductive. So I bought some desk accessories from, you guessed it, Amazon, to help me get more organized and also utilize my desk as a creative space. I want to feel more comfortable working at my desk and make it like a home base where I know I can get some work done. My desk isn't too big as it is, so I didn't want to overwhelm it with too many items, so here are some things that I bought. For the new year, I want to bring in more color into my life. I'm ditching my minimalist style of neutral colors and I want to welcome in a new year of saturation, vivid colors, and pastels. So what easier way to start than these cute notepads from Amazon that came in pink, purple, and blue? I plan on using these notepads to jot down random notes or for a quick to-do list for the day. I also really appreciate that the pages are easy to tear if needed. Okay, so I got a new green iPad Air. Definitely check out my unboxing video on it because I'm still absolutely obsessed with it. And I can confirm that it's been a game changer for me after having it for about a month now. But I didn't buy a stand with it and it's been causing really bad posture for me and causing my hands to cramp since I have to hold it up. So I thought it was time to get myself an iPad stand to make it easier to navigate on my iPad. I had to assemble the stand I bought, but it was pretty easy to do. The stand has a 360 rotation and you can angle the holder portion to your liking. I forgot to record it in the video, but the stand does have an adjustable height as well. I was looking for a phone stand similar to the iPad stand, but then I found this dinosaur phone stand which is just so adorable. I saw it and I knew it was what I needed in my life. Plus, it adds more fun and color on my desk which is exactly what I want. I also bought a journal because I want to be more reflective this year and practice journaling whenever I'm feeling jumbled up in my thoughts or just need to let it all out. Sometimes my brain needs a little organizing too. The cover reads, in the midst of our lives, we must find the magic that makes our souls soar. Also, huge fan of spiral bound notebooks, a must have for any journal I own. I lay my forearms at the edge of my desk when I type, which is super uncomfortable. I was going to get a keyboard along with a keyboard cushion or armrest, but the truth is my desk is way too small for a keyboard and all I really needed was comfort at the edge of my desk. So I got this baby cushion thing, which is typically for edges of walls or furniture to protect babies. So I'm repurposing it as a desk accessory. Also, if I ever do buy a larger desk, I would buy these cute and colorful keyboards, which I will also link below. I had them in my cart, but decided that maybe now wasn't the time. I just knew realistically that I would be using my laptop keyboard because that is what is most comfortable for me at the moment. Just because I have a lot of things and my desk is flat, I wanted to add more dimension to my desk. So this desk riser is super helpful with storage, plus I can slide my work laptop or notebooks underneath the riser. For those of you that have a separate laptop for work or school, do you leave your laptop on your desk or do you hide it because I literally will slide my work laptop under my bed because I don't want to see or think about work on the weekend. Let me know if you do the same or if you have any work-life balance ideas while being remote. Moving on to our next item, I got this large desk pad just because I've damaged my desk a couple of times by putting my cup directly on it or spilling water. So to avoid that, plus to add some color, this desk pad makes a great addition as an accessory. Okay, now it is time to set up my new and improved desk. First, let's go with the work edition of my desk. This is how I'll set things up while working my 9 to 5. My job is more heavy on longer meetings, so to have good posture, I'm placing my work laptop on the desk riser. And although I place my personal laptop on the desk in this video, I won't be distracting myself in real life, and I plan on using that space to take notes as I listen in the meeting. And now my favorite addition, my creative working space. This is a setup I want to edit my YouTube videos, as I am right now, or work on my iPad. Oh, and I can't start my creative work day without my matcha. I found this powder mix, so all I have to do is mix the powder with some almond milk and I'm done. I also have this linked in the description below if you're interested in a no prep matcha mix. It took me a while to find one that is actually legit and long lasting with caffeine, so this is my favorite. And for when it comes to work on my iPad, typically using the Procreate app, I'll just switch around my laptop and put it on my desk riser and bring my iPad to my main working space. I've had really bad posture while working on my iPad in the past, so I hope that this helps me out in the long run. 
Here's a little shameless plug on the style guide I worked on for Taeyang, aka V from BTS that you can find on my Instagram. I've been making style guides for all BTS members on their birthday to both help me study their fashion since they have great individual style and also learn how to use Procreate. So it's been a really fulfilling project for me. I'm really excited for my new space, all done with just a couple of desk accessories to bring some color and productivity to my everyday while working remotely. I hope that you found this video helpful or that it at least sparked some ideas to bring into your workspace. Of course, I have all the items shown linked below if you're interested. Let me know what you end up getting if you do. I'm super interested to see what you bring into your workspace. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, and I'll see you in the next video.